What's up guys, Takedown here with another collecting uh, video for you guys. So I'm going to share some of the things I recently got. I got these items from Loot Crate, and if you don't know what Loot Crate is, it's like a monthly subscription box for a bunch of different collectibles. They have multiple boxes, so go and check them out. Not a sponsored video, i just seen these stuff on their sites. It was actually part of the Loot Vaults, and what that is, uh, anything that doesn't get used for the monthly subscri subscriptions, um, gets put in their vault and you can just purchase the items separately and get to choose exactly what you want This is a little bit better, but you do pay a little bit more for the items if you want the same amount that were in a box So today basically I just bought two items. I had my eye on they were on sale about a month ago Purchased them then they just got them in. I'm happy that I got them in. They're really cool I got them in yesterday. I already have uh, one thing set up, but let me show you what I'm talking about and that is, start off, a 1940s Captain America replica shield. Has this stand here. It says on it. It's really cool. This act, the shield actually slides out. Let me put the stand down. Has some weight to it. It's a 1 to 6 scale. And even has your armbands on the back. It's metal. It's really cool. Honestly, whenever I ordered it, I was expecting one of those small little pins, or I expected it to be something small. But I mean, that's that's pretty big. That's bigger than I thought. A little stand it comes with. It has a card for the um, Certificate of Authenticity. And it just slides in there. So that is going up on my collectible shelf, top shelf of my room. Had my eye on it for a while. I am glad it was on sale and I got it. Paid a lot more in shipping because I am in Canada. But to me, it's well worth it. So I'm going to be putting that up on my shelf later. And I also got a comic book. Now, Loot Crate does have a bunch of um, reprints. Or not a bunch, but they do have a few reprints uh, comic books in their vaults that were part of loot boxes um, months ago. So I have one here. I know it is a reprint. Not too many people like reprints. But since I know I'm not going to get the um, actual comic... It, to me, it's a great piece for my little collection, and that is issue number one of the Action Comics, uh, June 1938, was when the original one was, and it's the first appearance of Superman. Really interesting, and even though it is a uh, reprint, it does have a card for Certificate of Authenticity. I will have to re-bag and board it. This bag looks cheap. I didn't want to open it up. I wanted to keep it in the original, the one I got it in. But the cardboard is really flimsy. So I'm going to put it in my own because I do have some separate ones or um, some extra ones for my personal collection. So go and check them out down below. I do have a bunch of comic book videos already. I might remake them. Remake some of my old ones that were low quality before I started using what I use now. But that is going to be sitting up on my shelf. I do have a book stand. So once I re-bag and board it, it's going to be sitting up there, probably the top shelf with the shield. And all my other collectibles, too, are up there. Like some of my gaming stuff. So I just wanted to share what I got from Loot Crate. I do appreciate I do like that they put sales on now once in a while. So I expect to get some more in the future. I did have my eye on something else, but I decided not to get it because it would have cost a lot more. And they're not that big. They're like this here, the shield. I thought it was going to be smaller than this, but the other things I was looking at for the complete set, they were actually really small. And to me, it wasn't worth the money. This, on the other hand, was, I think the comic book was about 2 maybe $3 for the sale price. is regular 8 bucks, And the shield, I think it's regular 15 or 20 and it was on sale for, I want to say 6 4 or 6 No, it's regular 10 and it's on for uh, 4 bucks. That's what it was. So, great savings. I did pay more in shipping, like I said, but honestly, if you like collecting and you like uh, having these type of collectibles, I do recommend Loot Crate and go to their Loot Vaults and you'll see sales, a bunch of stuff. They do have discount codes that you can put on top of the sales, so it's really interesting and I am going to be getting more in the future. I just keep an eye, like every month I do. I would get a actual monthly subscription box. I would want to purchase one. But it'd have to be one that um, I know everything in the month. I know they're all mystery items, and to me, I'd like to know, especially if I'm spending that much, kind of what I'm spending it on. So that's why I've never gotten an actual box. But expect me to get more collectibles, and I'll just purchase the single ones in the future and make more videos like this in the future. 
but I'll leave this video here. Comment down below what you guys collect. I'm really interested since now you guys are seeing a lot more of what I collect. I want to know what you guys are collecting. And I will leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up because it helps me out more than you think. I will leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.